Nicole Brazier with Real TV Films. We are at USC at the 2016 Scripter Awards. I'm here with Thomas Prada, the novelist for The Leftovers, HBO's huge show. Now tell me this, you wrote The Leftovers in 2011, correct? Mm -hmm. When it got picked up by HBO, I mean, what was your initial reaction? Uh, well, I was, I was thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> I had brought it to them, so. You brought it to them. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, can you touch on that a little bit more for me? Uh, well, uh, you know, I wrote the book mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I had had movies made of election and little children. Right. Uh, so, uh, you know, the question was, what would you like? What I talked to my agent Sylvie and was like, "Is this going to be adapted into a film or what?" And we both thought, "No, this is a TV show. It's a big we idea." We both thought that. Yeah, and if we have a TV idea, where would we bring it? Let's bring it to HBO. Right. <laughs> no other. Yeah. Now you're here at USC tonight pretty much uh, getting students involved and really opening up their eyes to this world that could really open up once you write something. So what do you have to ad as a advice, I guess, to these students for the future, as future writers for, you know, award seasons like now? Um, well, my advice right now is to take some time to learn your craft. Yeah. Um, it, ambition is great, but uh, don't get out ahead of yourself. You've just got to do the work first. Right. And then, and then you can figure out how to channel your ambition. Right, and then the awards will come. Now, this, The Leftovers, has won a Critics' Choice Award. I mean, how did that make you feel, knowing that your book all of a sudden gets all these awards and nominations? I mean, is it humbling? Is it crazy, exciting? Uh, well, it's exciting. You know, I, I think the show is a group project. It it's is a the big craziest show I've ever seen. <laughs> it is crazy. It's really hard to understand. In the beginning, I was like, what? I know. Well, that's, that's why I'm so thrilled to get this recognition, because right. it took the show a while to catch on. And uh, and our actors and our writers are doing such great work, so it's just nice to see people get recognized. Right. Let's for talk it. about your uh, your screenwriters, Jacqueline and Damon. Now, uh, how do you, are you uh, happy that these two? You know, did you get to choose them, or were they chosen for oh, you? Oh no, no, no. So Damon Lindelof okay. is the showrunner. Okay. Okay. I'm in the writers' room as mm -hmm. as an executive producer writer, and Jacqueline Hoyt is one of the writers in the room. So. We trade off. Damon writes, co-writes every script, but the other writers uh, trade off. So we all work really closely so together. So I'm thrilled that those two get honored for that wonderful script. That's what I was going to ask you. It's like, who gets honored here? Uh, you know, as a scripter or a novelist, it's like, which you know, at the end of the day, it's like, who did the most work and who's the one that deserves that? Oh well, that we award? all we all deserve Good. the nomination. Right. Are you just happy, uh, last but not least, going into Oscar season and um, Golden Globe season, just being recognized and uh, happy that you know, final, final, not not necessarily finally, but that your show has some uh, some awards and nominations no, to take cool. home. It's so it's it's really nice, and and uh, you know, as we're just honored to be part of it. Good. Well, thanks for joining me oh, here sure. at the 2016 USC Scripter Awards. I'm Nicole Brazier. Stay tuned with Real TV Films.